hey 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 welcome back to my channel if you're new you're welcome and i hope you stay due to popular requests today i'm bringing to you a detailed video on how to make fried fish stew without wasting time let's just get started so to start i've got some ingredients over here i've got some garlic some pepper and one and a half medium sized red onions i'll go ahead and blend them up so i've got my fish over here it's super fresh it's been cleaned i'll go ahead and just cut off the tail and cut it into smaller pieces i'm using three medium sized ones I'll come in with a little bit of salt to taste some fish seasoning some black pepper dark soy sauce I'll rub it on them and leave it alone for about an hour I'll get a pan and put it on medium to high fire I'll come in with some vegetable oil. When the oil is hot, I'll come in with about one tablespoonful of white flour. When the flour turns golden brown, I'll drop in my fish. I'll fry them for five minutes on each side. When it's ready, I'll just get them out of the oil. Big enough saucepan. Put it on medium fire and come in with my oil. Now I'm using the oil I used in frying the fish. This is because I want to retain the flavor. Afterwards, I will come in with my blended ingredients. I'll let this fry on medium fire for about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, I'll come in with a little full of concentrated tomatoes. Next, I'll come in with about 300 grams of fresh tomatoes. I'll add some water. I'll come in with a little bit of my favorite seasoning, dark soy sauce, some white pepper, some curry and salt to taste i will give this a good stir cover it up and let this cook on low fire for about 30 minutes you need to cook this till most of the water evaporates after 30 minutes i will come in with my fried fish I'll drop in some sweet pepper and some chopped onions. This will add some extra flavor. I'll cook this on low fire for about 15 more minutes. Don't forget to give it occasional stirs to prevent it from burning. You have to use a spatula so as not to break up the fish. It's been after about 15 minutes is ready. I'll go ahead and put up the fire. Mm. 
Ladies and gentlemen, our fish stew is ready. This goes very well with plain rice or some potatoes. This tomato fish stew doesn't have a bitey taste, is super delicious and smells great. So this is it guys and I hope I did help you. I hope you are going to give this a try. If you do, let me know how it comes out for you. If you've not subscribed, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to share this with family and friends. And don't forget to leave me that big fat thumbs up. Until next time, I am going to see you again with another nice and interesting one. Bye bye.